Hey there, it's Dan from Flexible, and today we're going to talk about Jarvis.ai, the copywriting tool, and how you can use it in your lead gen agency to write better ads and come up with better hooks, which are going to help reduce your cost per leads. Let's get stuck in. So why is creative and copy and having lots of different ad variations really important with lead gen? Well, I see this all the time inside my free group, the Paper Lead Ninjas, which you should join, and also uh, flexible, the Flexible Mastermind called the Paper Lead Blueprint. You should join that as well, obviously. Um, what I see is people complaining about having something that's working for you know a period of time. It could be a week, it could be two weeks, and then overnight things just kind of crash and burn. Their cost per lead doubles. It's no longer profitable for them or their clients, all right? And the, and the reason that is, is because the ads are fatiguing, okay? Not only has a proportion of the audience they're showing the ads to seen the ads already, there is also the fact that your competitors could be ripping your stuff off and, and blasting that to even more people. And what happens then is the whole audience um, sees the, 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 the copy, what the ad looks like, and then they just get ad fatigue and they switch off and it doesn't work anymore. The key is to be able to get lots of different variations up, right? And, and that might sound hard, but some of our students are creating 100 ads a day using the tool Jarvis.io. So Jarvis is an uh, artificial intelligent AI copywriting tool. All right, and what it enables you to do is log inside your account and spin lots of different variations of the ad copy that um, you might have that's already working. All right, and you're able to, um, for example, if your lead gen brand is car finance for business and you want to have a professional tone of voice inside your ads um, and you want to do it for Facebook, you're able to log in, put the company name, um, the tone of voice you want and put your winning creative in and then spin lots of, lots of different vergi versions of what's been working. It's a pretty cool tool. What type of copy can the tool Jarvis.ai spit out for you? Um, I'm not going to focus on some of this stuff because it's not relevant to lead gens, but you know it can it can do blog posts, like spin different blog posts for you. Um, it can come up with uh, headlines for landing pages and split test things that way. It can take copy for a high level. Uh, you know, maybe sales letter or something like that and dumb it down to, to kind of sixth grade uh, English, which is really important for copy, okay? You, you don't want to have any big words or anything like that in there to be able to confuse the readers. You want it to be in basic, easy to read English. And then you've got the really cool stuff in, inside lead gen, that you can use inside lead gen agencies. For example, you can spin Facebook headlines. Um, you can spin the copy that goes above the image or the video in the Facebook ads. And it also allows you to rewrite YouTube scripts. So let's say you're running YouTube ads and you've got a, a video that's doing really well. Um, you can get multiple different variations of that YouTube script done very, very quickly inside Jarvis. So there's lots of you know really cool stuff that Jarvis can do for you, but I would say, you know, where you want to focus if you're a legion agency is on the Facebook and the YouTube bits, which we'll talk about in a sec. So why do we recommend Jarvis um, for you guys to use as an agency, as a lead gen? Well, the first reason is because of, of speed of imp implementation. Okay, I touched on this before, but if you're, if you're a busy agency owner, um, and you're trying to create 200 variations of an ad that works, you're gonna drive yourself mad actually sitting down and doing that. You know, you might get lucky and do it in a day if you're a super focused person, all right? And that's just, that's just not gonna happen, okay? Because you've got a lot of other stuff to do. So for me, it's a really, the most important thing is it's a really great way to take what's working and then get hundreds and hundreds of different variations of what's working very quickly and upload it in, into your ad account. And we did this um, as a test. I almost had my account manager, Graham, on the stopwatch. And he went in, used Jarvis for a Facebook ad and created, I think it was 300 different variations, spun inside Jarvis, uploaded into a CSV file. Um, not uploaded, we had to manually put that in, but it was still very fast. And then we uploaded that CSV file straight into 
the Facebook interface and within I think it was 30 minutes we had 300 different variations of ad copy of something that was working for us. So it's very powerful to get stuff done quickly and you'll find that all of the big media buyers um, that you see killing it and doing all those huge numbers are using tools like this. So if you fancy giving Jarvis a go, uh, they actually have um, through our affiliate link, if you, if, you, if you go up here, they've given us a free trial with 10,000 free words to, to spin um, a special deal through, through Flexible. So have a crack at it and see what you think. Um, what I'm also going to do, uh, if you comment below in the comment section, Jarvis, what we'll do is we'll send you the CSV file, the template, which allows you to be able to take the, the 100 different variations, the 300 different variations, whatever that is, um, put it into the Excel file and then upload that Excel file into Facebook. It's a super fast hack. It's going to save you hours and hours. Just comment Jarvis below and we'll get that over to you. Um, and also what I'm going to do, because you know, listening to me and understanding a, a, a concept like Jarvis is, is difficult, Graham's going, my account manager is going to do a little quick video to show you what it looks like inside that Jarvis account and how it works with spinning some Facebook copy of what really works for you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll chat to you soon. Hey guys, um, so here's just a quick run through of what Jarvis is about and how to use it. Um, so, so the dashboard, uh, normally what I would do is I'd go to templates and then I'd scroll down to firstly Facebook ad headline. So I've already done a few here uh, just um, for reference. Um, but yeah, so you just have to put, pop in your company or product name. Uh, so we're doing this for um, the life insurance brand, Tom Luck. UK as an example. Um, your product description, uh, this is just what kind of your product is. You can change your tone of voice. I think there's lots of different tones you can do. Um, so yeah, you can do these funny, casual, excited, professional, witty, sarcastic, feminine, masculine, bold, dramatic, grumpy, secretive. And I've obviously got some weird stuff down here. That's all cool. And you just pop in an example of a headline that's like your best headline that's working for you. Um, and then, yeah, you just start just to creating the content, basically. Uh, you press generate AI content down there, and it just starts spinning headlines. Um, obviously, you don't have to use them all, but it just gives you loads of different ideas based on kind of what's winning. And you can spin as many as you want. Um, and then once you've spun as many as you want, then you can come and put it into a spreadsheet like this one. So I've already populated this. I'll come onto that in a sec, but I'll just show you where you just upload these. So you just whack that into the title area here, um, and you can add them all in here, depending on how many you do. <coughs> and then you can go back. So once you've done the headline, copy and paste these into your Excel spreadsheet template here. Um, you go back to templates, you scroll down, you go to Facebook ad primary text. And again, it's the same example we're doing here. Um, and we just popped in their best, our best performing ad here, um, which, uh, yep, it's there. So you get 400 characters if you go for the, um, the minimum uh, accounts, or I think we've got the, the boss mode on, so we, get, we have 600 characters here. Um, obviously, company name again, and then your tone of voice. And you can start generating AI content here. And you just start spinning these, these ads, basically. And you can go through them, amend them if you want. Um, but again, you do want to double check what they say, because sometimes, you know, it can be um, irrelevant stuff. But most, I would say about 90% of the time, it's bang on. So then you can start... Again, copy pasting these uh, into this template here when they go into the body. So what I would do is say you've got um, 15 different uh, headlines, copy and paste those and just carry on down here. So you have at least one headline with one bit of copy. So say you've got four bits of uh, copy there. So the first bit of copy, which would be this one here. You would copy and paste that <clears throat> into um, the first 15 cells. 
Then the next 15 cells, it would be the second. It would be the second uh, text here. Then you copy and paste that um, into the next 15 cells and so on and so forth. So you have at least one headline is with each bit of copy, basically. Now, we're going to go over to our template here, which basically shows how to um, quickly upload these into Facebook, because this is, this is the power of Jarvis. So you can spin all those bits of copy, you put them all into uh, your, your Excel template, and then you can bulk upload into Facebook. So that means, and I've done a test on this, I made 200 different ad variants, and they were all in Facebook within 30 minutes. And you would never be able to do that if you're doing it all manually. That's why this is really important. Um, so in this template, it shows which columns need to be populated for it to be uploaded into um, Facebook. And the good news is, is that um, a lot of them are drop downs. So as you can see here, so you, you know, you, you don't think get it wrong. So you just pop in, if, if you're creating a new campaign, you can um, just uh, leave that blank. But I normally would create a campaign and just pop in the campaign name and the campaign ID, just to make it a bit easier. Uh, obviously, you have to match your campaign objective, um, buying type, and then obviously add set ID. And there's little uh, things here that you can go read. So. Um, leave blank for it. So if you want to create a new ad set, you, you would leave it blank. Um, if you have an ad set you want to add them into, then you can do that. Um, so you go along, make sure all these are filled in. Uh, link object, that's the page ID. So it's all there. Link with UTMs, yep. Uh, you go along. And then uh, these two, and then insert billing event. And then you just go along, and this is where you start adding in your ad name, ad status, title, which I just showed, which I just showed you in the other one, link description, and that's that creates the ad basically. Um, and just to show you a completed one, which is this one. For a conversions campaign, so I've already I, I'd already set up the campaign ID. It was paused at that time. Um, obviously, campaign ID conversions auction. That's quite standard. Ad set ID. I already created the ad set ID. So you add that in. That's the page ID. That's the link I wanted it to go to. Off-site conversions is the optimization goal if you want to use um, a server a server event or a browser event to optimize, so it's off-site conversions. Um, does me why, that's just what it's called in this uh, document to get it uploaded. Uh, building events impressions. And yeah, and then it goes to the ad status, which is active. You name it. Uh, your title is your headline. Your body is the body copy. Link description, that's the description. And you want your display link. A creative type is usually a, a page post to add. Um, it's not due, but that's the normal, the standard uh, ad, basically. And then upload your images. So basically, you need to have your um, image name in your document. And what you have to do when you upload this Excel spreadsheet is you have to upload the images with it within Facebook, and then it all works perfectly. Um, and then that's it. Yeah, so that's how Jarvis works. It's epic for getting loads of different ads up um, into your account very quickly. Um, and it's very good for using when you know you've got an ad working, but you want more variations of it to see if you can beat it. Um, and yeah, and basically what we're going to do, if you comment below uh, Jarvis, uh, we're going to send you over this uh, template. So it's very easy to upload into Facebook if you want to try it. Um, below also we've also got a, a link um, to sign up to Jarvis uh, they are currently uh, through our link doing a, um, a free trial and 
10,000 free words uh, for you to play about with to see if it's uh, for you or not. So I definitely give it a go. Uh, the link is in the description uh, or I'll, I'll pin it in the comment as well. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for listening. Um, and cheers. Please do give us a like uh, so we know to create more content like this. Also, if you really want to chat to us and you've got any questions about what we've, uh, what I've explained today, then please give us a comment below. And lastly, please subscribe to this channel so you're, you're going to be the first to know when there's new stuff that we're releasing. Thank you very much.